There will be a hover puck on a lab table. There is a support right now that is stopping the puck, holding it in place. There's also another support at the end of the lab table that will stop the puck from going airborne. Students will have control over the mass of the puck and the amount of force we're pulling back with, and they can raise or lower that force. When students are ready to start collecting data, they would click on the Start button. You'll notice there was a small delay while the uh, system was running, and then we pull out the support and the puck moves across the table. If we scroll down just below the simulation window, we could see our position versus time, and you could see the object started moving at about the 0.9 second mark. And if we continue to scroll down, we get our most important graph, our velocity versus time. Students are to pick out um, two points on the line. They don't have to be data points. So this might be a really convenient point. 1.8 meters per second would have happened at the four second mark. The thing started moving here, so this would be another good data point. This would be 0.8 and 0. So students will get the change in speed, divide by the change in time, get the slope of this line, and that would be their acceleration. Students would then reset their system, change one of the two variables only, run another trial, and continue to do this in the, until they've collected enough data to graph the relationship. They could then hold mass constant and see how force affects acceleration.